Hey everyone, I am Mr. Alper. Recently, I got a question from Kumara HK in one of my videos named How to run GTA Vice City on Windows 10. Kumara HK, I hope I am pronouncing your name properly. Kumara HK commented, Mr. Helper, I already downloaded GTA Vice City game, but if I try to open it, some notice pop up. The program cannot start because MSS32.dll is missing in your computer. Reinstall it. How to solve this problem, bro? Please say. Definitely, I am going to explain it as I promised you that I was going to make a video. So, here it is. So, after this intro, I am going to explain the process. So, keep watching. Welcome. So, this is the file you are missing. You have to download it from internet. Okay. Just open your internet browser and search for this file name. Not ALL, DLL. You will not have to type missing from your computer or something like it. Just search for the file name. And the first link will be this one. Okay. Just download it and make sure you are downloading from www.dll-files.com open it so this is the website so this website having 32 bit operating system file and version is currently 9.3a file size is 0.43 mb and it is in zip file ok language will be english you didn't have to worry about this ok just i'm explaining it Make sure you are downloading .zip file, not .exe file, okay? Just click on this download. After 2-3 seconds, it will automatically going to download. So it, here it is, download it, minimize it. To open this file, you have to use Uwinzar. I already made a video about this. If you don't know how to use Uwinzar, then make sure to check the description box below. How to open and extract and uh, related things about this. Let me delete this file. Please ignore the background noise. I can't do anything about it. Sorry for that. So I dragged the file from Windows and extracted here. Now just you have to do is go to my computer, go to C drive, Windows, System32, find a folder name System32. So here it is, open it, copy the file and paste it right here. You need to have an administrator permission to copy this file otherwise you won't able to copy this file here. Since I am the administrator of this computer so I will able to copy this file. This is the basic things I mentioned in this video. Now open the game. Some of you having uh, your problem solved, but the person who didn't have this problem solved because you are using 64 bit operating system. If you don't know whether you are using 64 bit or 32 bit operating system, open this PC, right click and click on properties. So, as you can see, system my system type is 64 bit operating system, so that's why it's not going to work. So, you have to copy one more, one more file. Again, open the this PC, go to C drive, Windows, and this time you have to copy the same file, this same file in this folder also because you are 64 bit operating system user. Okay, open the folder SYS WOW64 and copy this file and paste it right here. Again, you need an administrator permission to copy this file. And now try is it working or not in most case it will going to work but in their case sometimes it doesn't work and i have a solution about it also again open your internet browser and search for direct tax wave the first link will be a microsoft website link open it so scroll down a little bit click on download and okay don't select this just click on and check it if you want you can take it but i'm focusing on just direct so i'm not taking these two options if you want you can take it 
click on no thanks to and continue so you will going to get an dx web setup.exe download it and double click if you have a directx software already in your computer you use it but if you in just in case if you don't have directx installed in your computer just double click and it will install it automatically let me check so it will going to take in so click on next and it will going to install my directx i am not going to install it because look it is saying that directx setup has determined that a newer or equivalent version of directx has been installed already no need to install it but in your case it will going to download it after that it will automatically going to install but if you have a offline installer file of directx make sure you install that file or otherwise if you have a proper internet connection then i strongly suggest you to open this uh, this setup file and install it and after that your problem will be solved if not just let me know i will make a different video because i wasn't getting any error about ms32.dll so i wasn't 100% sure about it it will going to do something in most case it will going to work but in just in case if it doesn't work please let me know in comment box below i will research about it and if i found anything interesting i definitely going to make a different video i or i will add it in description box below okay so i hope this video was helpful to you comment below if you having any problem regarding this video i will definitely help you as always and share this video to your friend to your neighbor to your family member whoever you want to share it's totally free you can share it and if i forget to mention something in this video i will add it in description box below so always check the description box below and subscribe for more videos like this click on that red button subscribe red button and yeah that's all until then take care have a nice day and i will see you next time bye